Okay, so here's a simple oscillator that can go up into the megahertz range and it produces square waves, good for driving Tesla coils or other things. And uh, it's just a single chip, phase lock loop chip. Let's get this out of the way. 4046. And we have a capacitor here. I believe this is about 30 nanofarads and about 150 uh, K ohms. And uh, here's our oscilloscope here. And let's turn her on, turn the power on to this guy. And look at that. We have square wave output. And oh, also I put a variable resistor across these pins here. It's a 10 turn pot. And uh, I'll, I'll put the diagram up so we can. Here, twist the, uh, oh, what's going on here? Ah, oh, 100, 100 kilohertz. Okay, I've been fiddling around with, you change the uh, capacitance value and the uh, uh, one resistance value, you change the, the range that these, this uh, guy can uh, oscillate at. So this is a phase lock loop, but this is just the voltage controlled oscillator part of it. Phase lock loops are used for demodulating FM signals or back in the good old days when we used to have analog TV. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, so maybe it had to get warmed up. Okay, so this is about several hundred kilohertz. Okay. There we go. And uh, the chip says it's rated up to about 38 megahertz. I haven't pushed it up that high, but it seems like it can become unstable, though. And here we have the FFT down here. Here's our square wave up here. And this is uh, 5 to 15 volts on the chip. And uh, maybe we'll do some interesting projects with that. Uh, this is uh, analog, good old analog engineering here. Okay. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Anyway, phase lock loop chip for a simple signal generator. One chip signal generator. Okay, so our new capacitor has got uh, 418 picofarads. Uh, okay, and I'm using a 150K uh, resistor for the timing here. Yeah, I'll show a circuit diagram in a second, but I had to actually put a bunch of... Um, uh, filter capacitors across the power supply to keep the voltage very stable so that the uh, that, that seemed to stabilize the oscillation frequency and here's our 10 turn pot and uh, of course when we twiddle that we can change the frequency by this is uh I got it up to 2 megahertz which is about the t uh, uh, highest frequency that I wanted to get to and uh, of course we can go quite a bit lower in frequency. I'll turn it down. Okay. Keep on turning it down. These things are very nonlinear in the frequency response. So I have to turn it a lot. And, uh, I guess it comes a little little non square. So we're we're looking at lower end right now in the tens of kilohertz and the upper end is at uh, about two megahertz so I think that covers the range that I'd like to cover for a uh, for a Tesla coil okay there's our 10, 10 turn pot and uh, Anyway, so we'll continue with uh, these these uh, experiments here, and maybe I'll build a circuit for driving Tesla coils. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll make it into a pit. We'll have to see. Okay, so here is a uh, a uh, diagram, circuit diagram of our oscillator. It's a pretty simple circuit, and I drew this inside a GIMP. And remember, this capacitor here, we're just measuring that out. And uh, this controls the upper frequency that you can go to. 
and uh, I think it was like about 400, 500 picofarads, half of a nanofarad, and uh, that got us up to almost 2 megahertz, which is pretty good for a $1 uh, oscillator. Uh, this is a 150k uh, resistor, and these two, I believe, together control the oscillation frequency. And this is the part, the, the maximum oscillation frequency. This variable resistor is our 10 turn resistor, and um, that's hooked across this high capacitance. I, I believe it's probably like 10. Let's see what this is. Oh. This, this uh, big capacitor is about 200 microfarads, and you need a big capacitor across the voltage here to stabilize the frequency, or else the frequency will be popping around as this thing switches, which you don't want. And uh, our 10 turn uh, pot potentiometer uh, selects the frequency, so we can uh, scroll between the lowest frequency, which is about 30 kilohertz or so, up to uh, 2 megahertz. And so there it is, your uh, circuit for your uh, $1 uh, signal generator for, for you mad scientists out there that want to do all sorts of crazy stuff, make your own circuit boards, make uh, high voltage equipment. I want to use this for a Tesla coil driver, so we'll see. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.